All right. In this screencast, I want to help us to cement our understanding on both the direct comparison test and the limit comparison test. We're just going to show some examples here to help us to see the process. Uh, so let's play this, this game. Do they converge? This is the vexing question for us going forward. Do they converge? So uh, what about it? Let's take this sum as n goes from 1 to infinity of 1 over n squared plus n plus 4. Does it converge? Uh, and then we'll consider the sum as n goes from 2 to infinity of 1 over natural log of n. Uh, can't have n be 1 because, well, that's bad. So we'll consider both of these. Do they converge? Well, what can we compare this to? We know that 1 over n squared plus n plus 4 is less than 1 over n squared because their numerators are the same and this denominator is bigger. Well, we know what this does. This converges because it's a p series and p is greater than 1. So here we're adding smaller numbers than these numbers. And these numbers settle down. So these numbers settle down by direct comparison with the sum of the 1 over n squareds. Over here, what do we compare this to? Well, 1 over ln of n is greater than 1 over n because every number is greater than its natural log. So the denominators here are smaller. So the fractions here are bigger. But we know what this does. The 1 over n's, this diverges. It's a p series where p is not greater than 1. p is 1. So when we add up these, they go to infinity. So these are bigger. They go to infinity. And these are just a couple of examples with the direct comparison test. Two for you to consider if you're willing to hit the pause button. What about this one? And what about this one? Well, those are my answers. Uh, this purple series converges by comparing it to 1 over n squared. Uh, this is definitely smaller than 1 over n squared. And this series converges because these numbers are smaller than the sum of 2 over 3 to the n. And 2 over 3 to the n is a geometric series with a ratio of one third, and one third is less than one, and so these have to converge. Well, then let's take a look at the limit comparison test. The limit comparison test, we're playing the same game. Do they converge? Do they converge? And, and so we'll consider the sum as n goes from one to infinity of 1 over square root of n squared plus 4. So what do we compare this to? Well, we think about what if we covered up everything but the highest power? If we covered up everything but the highest power, this would be 1 over n. And so we compare with the sum of the 1 over n's. Do we know what this does? Sure, it diverges. It's the harmonic series. Uh, P is 1. And 1 is not greater than 1. So the harmonic series diverges. So then it just remains to show that the limit as n approaches infinity of our series over the series we want to know about is any number other than 1. I'm sorry, other than 0. Well, algebra 
and then this limit is definitely one, and one is definitely not zero. So we got a number one. What does that one mean? It means that these two series grow at the same rate. And if these two series grow at the same rate, and this one goes to infinity, this one goes to infinity. So it does not converge. Uh, for you to try, do they converge? Let's do the sum of 3n plus 5 over n times n plus 1 times n plus 2. And let's do the sum as n goes from 1 to infinity of n cubed over the square root of n to the 7th plus 2n squared plus 1. Think, pause, compare, decide. Well, these are my answers. Uh, the denominator here is n cubed plus blah blah blah. So if we compare 3n to n cubed, that's this. That's a p series. p is greater than 1. And if we compare this, well, these don't matter. This is n to the 7 halves. 7 halves is just barely greater than 3. So we compare with 1 over n to the 1 half, and that's a p series where p is not greater than 1. And so we have that this series converges, but this series diverges. And I hope that these examples are helpful to you as you're learning our calculus.